All right, first of all, let me apologize. I hate doing handheld videos, but this is one of those products that hasn't left me a lot of choice. So uh, getting your reticle aligned horizontally uh, to a repeatable level point can be a challenge for a lot of people. Uh, a lot of people eyeball it or they use a plumb bob, but they never know if it's actually square with their action. And there's some other tools where you square the action first and then put your scope on, but you know you can kind of mess up in between those two settings. So I saw this thing advertised somewhere, um, or somebody was talking about it, and um, I don't know, I figured why not. So went and bought one, and uh, it's 60 bucks or something, and I thought, well, how bad can it be? So here's what you get. You get this, which is actually a couple pieces I've already assembled, you screw it together. You can also uh, put this one on. So this is for a pick rail, and you can see under here, it adapts to a pick rail. This is for just a straight round barrel, which is what we obviously need. There are magnets underneath, so it sticks to the barrel pretty good. Uh, it's not just gonna fall off. And then you have a flashlight that shines through, and then this kind of V-shape is what goes over your objective. And then it gets leveled uh, on your gun. So what the concept here is that your barrel, your scope, all get squared up and leveled and then we are going to shine the flashlight through the objective out the eyepiece and onto this grid here where we can then turn the scope and align our reticles uh, so that they are perfectly horizontal and vertical so let's see if i can accomplish this with one hand but we're going to throw this on we're just going to put it up against here a little bit and then we're going to push down which captures the objective see how that works and there is an adjustment screw back here. I've already adjusted it so that this sits as level as possible. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and turn on the flashlight. And then the last thing that we want to do is rotate this until we have a nice level on it. Okay, so give me a second here. This is obviously easier with one, uh, two hands than one. All right, so where do we got here? So. Now, I think we would all agree that that is nice and level. So what I'm gonna do is turn off the lights. And now you can see over here that there are very faint lines for my reticle. There's my the vertical line. Uh, remember, this is inverted, so that's actually at the bottom of my scope when I look through it. But uh, you've got your horizontal and your vertical. And so if you watch, you can actually see, see that line? Oops see the line there and and so you can see my reticle turning and now all I am going to do is work towards aligning all of those pieces and I think that is pretty good now it's not going to be perfect there's a little bit of curvature that occurs uh, so you can see how there's a little bit of gap uh, right uh, right over here there's just a little gap between the lines and it tightens up so what I'm looking for is symmetry between this side and this side and then that is pretty darn perpendicular with that vertical line there. So that's it. I mean, that that is all it takes. I now know that my scope is aligned with my bore, with my action, and that is everything that it intended to do. So, uh, you know, 60 bucks, it's not, you know, cheap. And depending on how many scopes you mount, uh, you know, you kind of got to figure out whether it's worth it for you. But I think to have a simple, quick way of aligning everything, uh, you know, I think it's worth the money. And if you have troubles or, you know, if you don't have a good system that you already use, I would give it a try.